Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to trigger an effect, uh, a sound effect and a visual effect based off of a trigger volume. To create a trigger volume, click on this tab, the Create tab up here. Make sure you have Helper selected and then go down to the Miscellaneous column. You can then click on the Trigger button and that'll start the uh, creation process. I'm going to uh, make sure I have Snap to Grid chosen and then I'm going to draw a square on the ground. You can also do a rectangle um, and, you and you also don't have to Snap to Grid. So as soon as we let go of our mouse, we can then move our mouse again one more time and extrude that volume out. When we click a last time, it'll set that trigger into our level. Now we want our character to interact with this trigger volume so we need to make sure that the shape template is um, has character trigger selected here. That'll allow for the character to interact with this volume. Alright, but I've already created a trigger volume right here inside of this doorway. Um, and the reason why I did that is because trigger volumes are by default invisible when you get into the game. Alright, so let's play an explosion by using that trigger volume. So I selected it first, then I went into flow and right clicked. This allows me to bring that trigger into flow and when the character touches this trigger we're going to do some stuff. First thing we're going to do is play a wise event so we're going to play an explosion and by default when you trigger a wise event it'll play on the listener's position which is the camera so it'll play right on the camera and we would like to play this particular sound on a unit in the game so let's go play it on that sphere over here first by clicking it then when we go to flow and right click we can bring it in here too and we have this unit pin from which we can play the sound effect on. The next thing we're going to do when we touch the trigger is play a VFX. So let's go down here, go down to effects and play a particle effect. Let's choose this one here called Splosion. And then we will play this explosion on that unit in the game. So as you can see when the character touches this trigger, it's doing two things. It's playing the wise event, and it's playing the particle event, and both of them are playing it on this unit, this uh, primitive sphere. All right, let's test this out in game. Okay, I made this level off of the basic template. So by default, we have some basic controls which come into the level by flying, and then when you hit F2, it start you uh, spawn your character and you can start walking around. So it's kind of like a first person shooter. All right, let's walk through our gate and see what happens. Awesome. Let's do that again. Sweet. All right, well that's how you do it. That's how you trigger an effect utilizing a trigger volume and uh, you can also do, of course, you can trigger sounds in a myriad of ways in the game, through code, through the animation system, um, but that is a simple way to do it, and there's a, a lot of uses for trigger volumes, for not just triggering sounds as well, but you can also trigger reverbs and music changes, and uh, you can duck out certain sounds, all by just touching it, and we'll cover those in later tutorials. Thanks for watching.